NBA 2K24 has been out for seven months now, and it's safe to say 2K just doesn't hit the same anymore. And the oh, reason God. for this is because 2K is disconnected. But let Max. me explain how. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go back to NBA 2K15, and I want you to really pay attention. Look how to beautiful this the is. Environment of the look, look how beautiful this is. There were moving cars, moving police cars back here. There's none of that in 2K. Like on these newer 2Ks, isn't that crazy? With new graphics, all that. Isn't that wild, bro? I remember they had the moving witch in 2K20, and the whole thing was like freezing, and it was hella lag. Ain't that? That's wild, man. When you look in the background, you see how they have the cars moving in the back, the Beautiful. train that's over the street, and you're gonna see when the screen. Look at the colors, the textures, bro. And y'all, y'all have to understand when y'all look at this. When y'all look at this. You gotta understand, people are, are, aren't are uploading at 60 frames per second. It wasn't even possible back then. Most people are uploading like 480p and it still look crazy, right? Green turns as well. Even and if that whole say HD, it's really 480p, bro. Around the bridge. It kind of gives off a New York vibe, like you're coming off the train, getting out your Uber to go run some pickup. But you can see that it gives off the same vibe as in real life if you're from New York or you've ever been to New York. When you go over here and look at Sunset Beach, you look how look look at this. It's a little too bright, but you know. Still have the cars moving in the background. It gives off a lot of a uh, Miami or beautiful. Y'all see this intro? These intros are way better, but they won't bring them back. You know why? Cause they're trying to cater to that negative one percent NPC that hates show buddy. Why you think you can't celebrate at the end of the games anymore, guys? In people's face. Why why you think they took that away? Why are they catering to an audience that isn't the majority of gaming? You feel me? They're they're doing their own personal agendas. Who wouldn't want to showboat in the beginning of the game? You feel me? Play vibe like you're on the beach. You can see how the sun is like beaming on everybody. So it gives off the vibe that it's hot. So again, if you're from LA or Miami or you've been to those places and played basketball over there, you can relate to it. And for uh -huh. the last part, you have Rivet City and you can see. Look how beautiful this is. Moving car. Look at the textures. Look at the vibrancy. Crazy, dog. Damn. 2K15 was too stiff for you, then you're lost. 2K15 was way more fluid and free than uh, almost every 2K after it. 15 might be more loose than and fluid than 16. To be honest, you could really move on that. You had real control over your moves, dog. I don't know why you said it was too stiff. You were probably just bad, so you didn't know how to dribble. You know? But you could really... You know how it has like there because when 16 came out they did stuff to limit stuff that happened in 15 right the og left right before like all this there was just r2 left right that was in 15 and then they uh put they made it molasses and then uh they kind of just made it slower to r2 with your left right and stuff it wasn't like a, some crazy issue but 15 had like true control over your movement, bro. You, your step back, so many different things. The chaining of your behind the backs. There was a lot of like real freedom that they took out in 16. And then when 17 came out, they took out the freedom that you had in 16. You know, a lot of people, they, they might think that 17 is more, you know, but it's not. You could dribble way more on way more different levels in 16 and 15 and 14. And then even 19, people praise 19. Like it's a it's a good dribble in 2K, but it was nerf. You feel me? It had nice little sequences, but it was it was restricted. Like things you could do in the past, you couldn't do no more. And it it uh it really messed up the game. Honest. Just straight cement floors. It's not as polished as like Old Town and Sunset, but you still have cars in the background and stores in the background. So it kind of gives off the vibe of like a city or a town where like there's not too much people that's populating it, and it's kind of like a 
a grit or grind sort of feel but to people that aren't from new york or la or wherever or like a more populated area they could relate to rivet city but given what everything that i just explained it's fair for me to say that all of these parks are realistic because no mm -hmm. matter who you are you can relate to them it doesn't matter if you're a basketball player or not if you played professional collegiate if you only played street ball whatever the case may be you can relate to it even if you uh -huh. haven't played played basketball you probably been to a local park to go watch one of your friends play or just to go hang out so no matter what no matter what type of person you are we all like basketball look at that look look how friends play or just to go hang out so no matter what no matter what type of person you are we all like basketball damn that look so we can relate to this realistic aspect of it now let's look at nba 2k 23 and 24 and you're gonna see this is 2k 23 and what does the environment in the background look like a whole bunch of volcanoes and rocks and whatnot this is the nighttime version you're gonna see the same thing and don't get me wrong aesthetically it looks good don't get me wrong but i've never once woke up and thought yo i want to go play basketball by a volcano i, I never thought of that I that's never crossed my mind at all and now over here they should just have both to be honest what do y'all think definitely more towards the realist here we have nba 2k24 and and I night parks gotta go man it just don't look good at night we used to think we wanted night parks but after seeing what it looks like and how much it's actually there, it is it, it don't look as good as uh the daytime and the brightness. I, I can't tell you what this reminds me of like at all. Like I don't know what this relates to. I've never thought of playing basketball anywhere <laughs> that looks like this. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna show y'all right now what this reminds me of. I got y'all right now. Hold up, hold up. This is exactly what this reminds me of, y'all. This right here, Dusty Divot from fortnite i don't know if y'all play fortnite but this is exactly this middle part is exactly what um the elite park in 24 reminds me of. Damn, my whole point is nobody 2K? wants to see this for like the majority of the game now don't get me wrong for an event or whatnot doing all of this spe spectacular uh, events yeah that that'll be nice to have uh with the events they can have all these crazy uh parks man Stuff trying to make it look futuristic or like it's a fiction novel okay it makes sense but in terms of playing street ball basketball this is not street ball basketball this is like some futuristic stuff but regardless if you're a comp player a casual player wherever you box yourself in we all can agree when it comes to like the 24 environment it is unrealistic it's not like an actual street ball experience that you would get in real life but this isn't the final piece as to why i think nba 2k is disconnected so let me explain so let's take it back to NBA 2K15. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is the gameplay. Now, we're going to talk about the gameplay. And I kid you guys not, I was looking for, for a video to pull up. You guys are going to see. Bro, this is the first shot that happens. Bro, stop. Oh, my God. Bro, this is so disrespectful. Okay. Let's. Let us. How do I? Here's 2K24. any anyone can do this don't ever disrespect 2k15 when stuff like this is happening in 24 look at this let's be serious man let's be serious bro let's be serious man let's be serious what are we playing let's be serious let's be serious <laughs> Let's be serious. <laughs> Let's be serious. You feel me? 2K15 Demi, this was less than 1% of players, bro. And then when they, when the Demi gods came out, they were only they had to be 1% of players and patch 4 came out. That wasn't all of 2K15, bro. 2K15 was one of the hardest shooting 2Ks ever. He is disrespecting it. This is disrespect and it's not true, bro. The demigod glitch came out at the end of the game. You can look it up. Why are we painting a whole game with seven foot my players and demigods? That wasn't the whole game. That's a lot. It's not true. It's not true. They'll say a bunch of contested shots and all this, all this other shit. It's not true. Everyone who really played 15 and wasn't an NPC knows. 15 had one of the hardest shooting systems. It was so hard that to drop 30 or 40 in the wreck was like, you're a god. You were like considered a god, bro. And then they made it easier in patch four, bro. Shooting used to be hard in 15. There was no hall of fame badges, guys. You feel me? So it's like, it was one of the harder shooting 2Ks until patch four. 
didn't find out about seven foot small forwards until the end of the game went back on 15 when 16 was out and got all them clips and all that demigod stuff and but that during the whole game dude, there there were no seven foot in the park bro you feel me like it was i never ran into no seven foot in the park that's just only in the stage at the end of the game the demigod glitches was only in the stage it was not in the park so like 99 percent of people never played versus but it represents the whole game it makes no sense it's actually insane <laughs> it's insane you feel me and it's like the crossover 16 spam and, and 10 and all that. Sh that was only in the stage. And then the good stage, they would shame you for using that. And they would like no one would play with you. Like it was hard to find a team if you use crossover 16 and sh like that, bro. But it, but that was like never in the park at all all there was no seven foot there was no demigod 15 had probably the lowest heights out of like most 2ks ever no it's not no other people see it differently i was there you're not understanding how look how i understand 2k now i understood back then those little kids didn't understand the game i'm the who made the 90 win percent threshold that's what i had in 15 that's what i had in 14 i had that before part 2ks i'm the nigga that made that benchmark i made that if you don't got a 91 percent plus you're trash i made that shit. i was a god in 15 i know i was there other people weren't there they go back and look at videos and clips and all this and all this people got to understand when people drop videos they're dropping highlights of something that they rarely do why do you think he's posting this it's just like even even in recent 2ks anytime you go back and look at a video you're gonna see people post videos of stuff they almost never do it's really rare that you'll see that that don't mean it happens all the time so so when you go back and you try to judge 2ks off of people's videos and you have to understand that if you want to see more realistically you would have to see streams and see them play but if you just go on any 2k you're gonna see people doing like nothing because it's a rare thing that happened people was bots back then i don't know what you're talking about bobby to be honest bro i was there then and now people are more bots now they they weren't invested as they were in the old 2Ks. They were better at the old 2Ks because they were more invested. They liked it more. I couldn't have a as high win percent as I can now. And I'm not even as good as I was. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's not adding up. I would have like a 90, you know? Now, I could have a 198 on the newer 2Ks. There's no comp in the park at all. At all. Y'all be saying TikTok did this and that. Uh, no, everyone's still a bot and they're horrible. There's no comp. There were way more comp back then. They used to, you know, they used to really try to learn the game and get better. He shoots a very early and it goes in. We all can pretty much say that the gameplay was very unreal. No, like look, unreal. 2K15 is way more realistic than 20. I don't even need to bring up Steezo dribble. There was no Steezo dribbling in 14, 15, 16, 17. So so what are what are, what are we talking about, man? You don't see Steezo dribbling in these 2Ks. You just see combos that you could do in any 2K. I'm not understanding. Listen, look, look. What is that? What is that, bro? And I also want to show this shot right here that is 100% contested. You can show this in 2K24 in any 2K. Everyone knows the contest system was way worse on 2K24. 2K24, 18 and 19 easily has the worst contest systems, man. These are just freak accidents. It don't represent 15, man. I wish people would stop saying it. I, I wish, bro. Like, they don't know they wasn't there, so it's not even their fault, you know? The nigga that you talked to nigga that really played 15 and knew and was really, they all sound exactly like me. This don't represent 15. 50 cow, look. He was in 15. That's a stage, nigga. 50 cow, you gotta come to my uh Twitch to see what I'm uh reacting to. They don't know this. They don't know. 15 had one of the hardest shooting systems in the game before patch four, right? Patch four is the end of the game. So this don't represent what the game was really like, bro. You're looking at some random video, like it it don't represent it, man. But you can see it's still going in, which goes to show, like when it comes to the gameplay in NBA 2K15, it was pretty unrealistic. And what I feel like it was way more realistic than the newer 2Ks, and it's undebated. Y'all have to stop this narrative, especially if y'all want them to go back to these type of 2Ks, right? The narrative. You see, AIDS cannot the, exist oh, with friction. 
Oh, you shit. Oh, I got Come it. at me, Fredo. Oh, oh, you you oh, one better. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, what, what the? Oh, Crazy God. he's spitting right now. Look, for y'all that want them to go back to the golden era of 2Ks, you have to stop the arcade and realistic talk. You have to say skill based and casual based. Newer 2Ks are casual and unrealistic based, okay? Arcade based. You have to say the golden era was skill based and more realistic. And it's a fact within the gameplay. Because if you talk any dribbling, there are no Steezos. Steezo, the most unrealistic dribble style in the game. That's now. That, that left right, that stage left right and pro amps, newer 2Ks, right? It wasn't back then. Most used to cook you with realistic moves at the top level. That means these 2Ks were way more realistic, right? They are baiting y'all into saying this. Why the f you think in a game that's marketed simulation, you're trying to pull NBA fans. You're saying, hey, we're trying to make a uh, we're trying to make a realistic 2K that symbolizes the real basketball. Everyone's gonna fall for that. When they think arcade, they think NBA Jam. They think street ball. Why are you, why are man they want the game to be like that? You niggas are dumb. Oh, and that's the majority of the community. Y'all niggas are dumb. Y'all have to stop. It's, it's idiotic. Arcade is NBA Jam. That's the clips I was showing you at 24. That's NBA Jam. So you got to switch your narrative if you want a better 2K for the future. You feel me? These 2Ks were more realistic and skill-based. Newer 2Ks are arcade. No, these niggas grown. Wait, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? Those clips of 24 was patch one. You're a fire. You're a liar. This says season seven, boy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you something else. And he makes a montage. Hold on, boy. This is really possible, man. Like this is pop. This has never been possible in no 2K. Stop it. The contest system is horrible. This is one of the worst. This is one of the worst contest systems ever. The worst contest systems is 24. 19 and 18 those are the worst contest systems in 2k hold on where where's this dude name there's literally takeovers now guys like what what, what are we talking about what what are what are we really talking about there are takeovers now look 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 at this hold on there are takeovers now there's heat check that's not the epitome of arcade and unrealistic there was no takeover in 15 there were no hall of fame badges there was no heat check so why are we saying more why are we calling those 2ks arcade when they were more realistic that sh doesn't make sense it's a lie they're doing that to get the game go how they want you sound like a idiot saying you want the game to be more arcade you sound like a idiot why would they listen to them? it makes no sense it's dumb look at this this is season eight this is shame <laughs> no golden era this is season eight this is season eight you show me when sh like this you show me. You show me. Look, look, look what I'm about to do, bro. You show me. You show me this, all this. Look at this. You tell me. You tell me. Tell me again this is the most realistic 2K. If you do, you're a idiot. Tell me. What? What are we talking about? What are we talking about, bro? Look at this. Look at this. To don't ever disrespect 15. Look at this. What are we talking about? 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 What are we talking about, bro? This there's hella more clips of shooting contested. Even not, it's actually insane how dumb they are, bro. Look at this. Look, guys. Yeah, he already posted these clips. We're going to go down a few seasons. Look, look. These are all from season seven, guys. Look at this. Look at this. We got to go down a little bit. He's spamming this over the years, in my opinion, as a community, I Look know one of the things that we were striving for was to make the gameplay like more realistic, or at least to like take out all of the cheese that didn't need to be in the game. And we definitely saw that throughout the years. In 2K17, we had pure shot creators and speed boosting sharps that could hit contested shots. We also had Hall of Fame brick wall screens and Hall of Fame ankle breakers that there was really no counter to it. After that, we had 2K18. What? Wait, hold on, bro. I'm confused on what this name is. 
takeovers was taken from games like NBA Baller, Street Volume, NBA Jam. But I feel like over the years, in my opinion, as a community, I thought one of the things that we were striving for was to make the gameplay like more realistic, or at least to like take out all of the cheese that didn't need to be in. Yeah, we just wanted crossover 16 gone, right? And we wanted to be more bumpy on defense for 15 because that's more realistic. And we wanted to be able to shoot in the corner. We didn't want the fades to be OP, uh, as OP at the midi. In the game. And we definitely saw that throughout the years. In 2K17. 17, 17, you had 17 was more unrealistic than 16, 15, and 14. But this is the popular notion. What is she saying? This is the popular notion. There were Dexing stretch bigs running point guard. That is arcade, guys. That's arcade. For broken post scores, just unstoppable. That's not realistic. These are arcade features, arcade game, un unstoppable. Guys, the post scores, the stretch bigs, glass cleaners hitting from the three point. This is when the arcade began. This is when 2K downfall began. This was not more realism. This was when it became more casual. All these realism sim, they hide behind the trying to make it realistic. They want it to be more casual. More casual is not more realistic. It's just slow and clunky and easier to play. Stretch bigs, the 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 sharp shooters, easy to shoot, all this and that. It was 17 when, was when it was easier to play. Same brick wall screens are not realistic. That is an unrealistic arcade feature, guys. Unrealistic arcade. No one is setting big body screens like that in real life. It will be a fight no one is screening like that barely happens in the nba brick wall hall of fame screens are not realistic they're not realistic it is an arcade feature you feel me bro fizz i actually know uh steezo bro thanks for the super chat really appreciate you he didn't he i played with steezo in 16 bro all the time but he didn't play 17 he retired 17 he came back at 18 you know we we set a blueprint out we was like how is it gonna blow up i'm like bro you are a immaculate dribbler you could easily become a dribble god all dribble gods blow up automatically you better look at me square and talking to you boy you feel me Bro, shut your bitch up. What are you talking about? But, um, Steezo dibble-dabbled in 17 at the very end just to see what the game was like. But that was when, you know, he disappeared. He was on his sushi. But then he came back in 18. We had that blueprint out. Came out. Took over. Blew up. Dribble guys. It's an instant blow up. Bro, brick wall is not real. Law, you heard what I said. You you can't you can't defeat what I said. Stop it. You're calling me. I'm in from Orange County on the come up. Brownie, shut your goofy up. You don't make no sense. And then again, the dribbling, it, it got more restricted in 17 from 16. We had pure shot creators and speed boosting sharps that could hit contested shots. We also had Hall of Fame brick wall screens and Hall of Fame ankle breakers that there was really no counter to it. After that, brick wall screens and Hall of Fame ankle breakers that there was really no counter to it. After that, we had... There were counters to ankle breakers. You evolved once a colored circle while watching me burn this house down like the color purple. Boy. Hall of Fame ankle breaker was not as OP as people were saying it is in or was in 17, bro. I probably got my ankles broke probably like 10 times all year. It's because I knew how to counter it. All you had to do was press them, play on the side of them, or scoop back when you think they're about to do a move and you get out of the ring. It's very easy to avoid. You will see if, if, if ankle breaker was so OP, right? Why in the stage wasn't that sh meta that's just so op and just broken why wasn't that the meta it wasn't because skilled players knew how to not get their ankles broke it's very easy to avoid npcs just stand there and watch and they don't gauge their distance or they're bumping they don't disengage they don't they don't do nothing when op like people saw Nick posting clips and shit. that's just highlights man if you watch a Nick stream bro he not just sitting there just breaking everybody fickles everyone on the phone Every game, it, it's just, it was not like that. You know, every every couple, three games, you know, you probably get like, you probably make like two nick ball if you really knew what you was doing, right? Like, that's not, it's not too bad, bro. It's really not. Especially you sitting there ISO in every possession, bro. It's not that bad. Bro. At 2K18 with the snatchbacks and the blow Look at this. And 18. Look, look, look at this. Guys, look at this. Look at this. After that, we had two. 
This is how delusional this community is. These niggas are idiots, guys. There were stretch bigs breaking nickels with no rating, no attributes. There were stretch bigs running point guards, dexing, snatch backing, shooting in face. You could blow by 5'7", no strength, no nothing. No, you could be 60 overall. You could run through anyone. You could walk through them, bro. In 18, but they called this most realistic 2K to date. They said it was more realistic than 17, 16, 15, and 14. Idiots, bro. This is when that takeover, sh all that, the, du wait, wait, dual, I think dual takeover was 19. Idiots, this is when paint mashing became a thing in 18. This was easily one of the most unrealistic 2K ever, ever. And they said this was the most realistic just because it was slow and close. This community is stupid. Like they, bro, they're really stupid, bro. K18 with the, like the athletic finishers. We just dunk under the rim. <laughs> This is when that shit began, bro. The snatchbacks and the blow buys. And 18 and 19, we had the introduction Look of the this. stretch bigs that could shoot over everybody. Look and at then this. 19 and 20. And you, did, did y'all see that, bro? And th this was like a real thing, guys. This was like, this is what really happened in 19. When they try to shame 15 for that contest system and shit, that shit happened in 18 and 19. But them niggas love them 2Ks, right? Because that was their start and that was their era. This is the broken contest system. 18 and 19 was the broken contest system. That shit happened in 15, bro. That shit happened. You could really see streams and just shooting over niggas all day. Shooting over centers and lockdowns all day. All day. This is when 2Ks becoming more unrealistic. Nigga. The golden era, more realistic of the stretch bigs that could shoot over everybody and then in 19 and 20 we had the dribble the guards could literally exactly guys this is a unrealistic feature guys unrealistic arcade feature guys you could not do this in 14 15 16 or 17 there was no fribble glitch any dribble glitch is a worse 2k than any 2k that didn't have a dribble glitch that means it's an rk 2k the dribble glitch you could break nickels and it never get ripped, guys. People used to set Hall of Fame brick wall screens coming down the court dribble glitching, bro. That's broken. That's arcade, right? You feel me? Pure arcade. Pure arcade. Pure arcade. One of the most broken things in, in 2K history. You're lost, Sammy. You won't debate it live dribble in front of your face and you couldn't steal the ball and then in 2k20 we had the overpowered hop steps post scores you can see that to try to do the post turbo spins uh, once mm -hmm. oh really <laughs> really <laughs> Mike? Is from charles Tribet. just a lot of cheese but you can see over time a lot of that stuff ended up being taken out so now in comparison to nba taken out and 20 had the dribble glitch too 2k15 all the way to where we're at now in 24 i feel like the gameplay is a lot more realistic it's not. for the most part when it comes to like overpowered things that you literally cannot stop like Cat. you could play defense and predict what they're gonna do and they're still able to score off of it and things like that a lot less of that happens in this game in the park setting in comparison to the other games cat cat dunk meter there was no dunk meter feature in past golden era 2ks that is RK that's unstoppable, that's unrealistic. The whole layup system, that's unstoppable, unrealistic. The post scoring, the, the dunk meter under the rim is an arcade feature. It's unrealistic. It's broken. You could shoot full court shot easily. You got heat check. You got all this, bro. Midi, all that, all that broken. The floater, the most broken floater in 2K history is now. You feel me? You could just drop step everybody, unstoppable. She's more broken. She's more unrealistic. She's more arcade than ever, than ever, you know? So it, I don't know why people keep, I don't know why everyone goes with this notion, bro. It's just, it's just not true. Now I've said all that to create. And the passing is way worse. Bigger picture. The reason why NBA 2K doesn't hit the same anymore is because 2K doesn't have a real direction. When you think about it, in NBA 2K15, the environment was realistic, but the gameplay was unrealistic. Now we're in 24, where the environment's unrealistic, but the gameplay's realistic. This is kind of environment realistic. Gameplay was majority realistic. The environment unrealistic. The gameplay unrealistic. This is where, it, this is, you know. If you hear what I said, man, you, you hear, you know, you hear what I was saying. You can easily jack it up from half court from 17 easily. Not like the newer 2Ks, bro. And no one, bro, 17 was trash. But 17 was still better than every 2K after. But on the on the 2Ks after, you could shoot from half court way easy.
easier on a whole different level. You feel me? Easily. 24, you, sh you can shoot full court shots, dog. You can't, you know, you can shoot from the half court on, on the pro-am and, and the rec. There were no demigods. That's a myth. Demigods came out at the end of the year. That doesn't represent the full game, dummy. You didn't hear what I was saying about 15 in the start. So you don't know what I'm talking about. That's not true. 14 was not no half court where you could do this. It's because you see some sh randomly that don't represent the game. I played it. You didn't. You looked at it on YouTube. It's completely different. The game doesn't make any sense so for me firstly i feel like if 2k is gonna make a game they have to make it where it's just realistic realistic where it's like realistic environment realistic gameplay or unrealistic environment unrealistic demigods came out at the end of the year probably the 10th month of the cycle or ninth month of the cycle does that represent the whole game are you stupid it don't matter how old you were you Show, show me a stream of shooting half courts from 14. You show me. If you want to see what I'm looking at, come to my Twitch. You show me. Get the fear. They did not play it, bro. You sound stupid. Just because y'all might have touched the game and you had a damn 10 win percent, that don't mean you understood and played the game. It was a bot. That was not your era. Then leave. Vent, stop watching then. Doing a stream at 5 a.m. This a game and stream. Leave then. You saying they sound like virgins talking about games. Be watching. What the fuck is to talk about? Nick? Demigods came out at the end. Look, that's a stage. Nick. They don't even, they, they, they don't understand. Bro. So lost. This is why we can't push for what we really want, bro. The terminology, man. No, you weren't. Show me proof you're in the top three play now. Clown, you're a liar. Nick. Why are you lying? Why are you f half court shots on 2K14? You're fine. You're lying. I'm 49. Vince, I'm roasting you. You coming in a, uh, you're coming and we're talking about games. This is a gaming channel. Leave you loser. Get no, shut the forbid. Don't lift. You went on YouTube. You took a picture of yourself and you smiled. Now see your profile picture. You're, you're high watch. You think I'm just play the game? Not talk. What are you talking about? We can't talk about games. Leave. What? You was raised by in a stream at 5 a.m. Whining like a bitch. I'm 49. You show me clips of you shooting from half court. You show me, you show me clips of you shooting from half court on 14. 15 wasn't overrated, you stupid. It's underrated, you idiot. It's just hated on. The net played 15 and understood it have already moved on. Demigods and breaking the court barely happened. It's 0.0001% of the game that even knew about the sh how to do it. Prove it. Asakri, prove it. How you remember stats from a 10 year old game? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking to him, Kaden? I'm no more about 2K than anyone. I'm the one with the 2K Bible. Nick, understanding. When you understand things in life, Nick, when you're good at something and you teach it and you understand it and you've been good at it for a while, you understand it and you can remember it easier than everyone else. I've been playing since the first 2K and I was God, right? So you're not understanding. Nick. I, re bro, I remember this like a science. You, you need to understand, bro. I used to go to Nick Cribs. I used to, bro, my brother used to take me to Nick Cribs to beat and I was 10 years or 20 years older than me, not being all different type of hoods, whooping Nick. I made hella money off this before this. I understand it. Y'all niggas NPC. You don't understand it. I'm definitely preferring that first option. And the reason why I say that is because the realistic environment is the essence of what made NBA 2K, NBA 2K. It's what made the park, the park. And I'm not just saying that. I believe this is a thing the, the whole community can agree on. I don't agree with this neither. It was a way better feature or it was just way better. And it really, you know, it was real loving and, you know, it's different type of vibes, you know, it's like that. What no understand? is it doesn't matter how you dress up sh that's what people don't understand the rewards all that sh all that reason to play all that sh like it's cool like it it's a it's the cherry on top but it don't matter what you put on sh it tastes and smell like sh it's it, 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 these it's the core to any of these games the gameplay matters the most the gameplay that's the you get on and play that is the core of every game if you can't have fun on the game gameplay related and be thinked out gameplay related only strictly and have fun on the it don't matter oh my they could give you every floor that should look beautiful if the gameplay in a competitive game is not it don't matter how much you try to dress it up.
It doesn't, it just, it don't matter. The gameplay is the key. If they, if they just upload a new patch, they gave us all old parks, all different lightings, colors, and environments. It would be dope, cool, you know? It would be amazing, right? But when you gotta play that sh when you have to play it, boy, are you having fun? Are you having fun? No. It don't matter what this hoe look like. Are you having fun? I would play on 2K13 graphics if the gameplay was lit. The gameplay is the key to every game. It has to be fun for the masses. These games were more fun for the masses because of the gameplay. Simnik love those 2Ks more. Casual love those 2Ks more. Kids and Sweats loves those the 2K gameplay more. The issue is the gameplay, okay? They not understanding. They try to patch all this and that the, the, with, with movement. That means the little casual NPC, he's not gonna have as much fun because like for instance, 24, right? Do you know how to, to speed boost, right? You have to already be holding R2 and then you have to flick it and time your burst, right? Any decent person can do that. That's not a that's not a skill gap, right? For us, but for the the bottom casuals, you're now making it to where they can't even speed boost versus comp. So you're literally making them beat on harder. Cause I can speed boost normal. Any non NPC could speed boost no matter what. But that bot, he gonna struggle, right? So you making it to where he can't even. So they're the game for the casuals and they they think they're limiting the top, but we're never gonna be limited. We're God, we're God, we're God. We get L2 camp, it doesn't matter. It don't matter what you do. You can't, feel me? You really hurting the casuals. You know, they're, they're not gonna have as much fun as like they not getting no ankle breakers ever. How do you think? Like that's gonna be like fun for them, bro. It just it just don't make sense. You never speed boost and you had an 81 percent. Shut the shut the. Y'all hear what this name? You won't debate it live, Neff. Y'all wanna see the full screen? Come to the Twitch. Stop saying what word. So you'll see right here when you search up NBA 2K24 City. If you look at the search volume, the search volume is all the way here at the orange. And I'll refresh it again just so you'll see that I'm not capping and this is really what it is. But when you search up NBA 2K24 Park the search volume is all the way up here at the green as you could see and the reason why i'm showing this is because the city has been in the game for the past four 2ks 21 22 23 and 24 and the search volume of nba 2k24 park is more than that now i understand the park and the city aren't the same exact thing but i want to show that the park is show your receipts boy you're an idiot you're an npc i don't speed boost you suck bro. shut the f you're horrible know your place you're talking to God. Any that says, I don't speed boost. It's horrible at 2K. Nick. We're on different levels. Foy, know your place. Stick with your name. It's like a staple of the 2K community. That's what people reside with. That's the, the essence of what NBA 2K is. What makes people want to go and play online. And over the years, most people are NPC. You're not understanding. I'm God. I'm God. You don't compare to me. We're on your your lower tier bot. There are robots that are higher tiers than you, multiple tiers. You're at the bottom tier. You damn near in the you know in the of the you know the you know you're f watch your mouth. like I'm him. Nigga. I'm the greatest ever. Document it. It's different. It's a difference. Nigga. 2K has deviated away from my part to the neighborhood to the goat boat to now we're in the city. And I'm not necessarily mad that they're trying to do something different or to innovate. But when you take away from the essence of what makes a game a game, it's going to result in a lot of innovation is great as long as it's an add on. You're not just trying to really freak it. You feel me? Y'all, bro, someone has to be the greatest ever. Do, do y'all not understand? Someone has to be the best. It's documented. Have y'all beat league players? Have y'all beat the greatest stage players to ever exist? Have you did it with randoms? I have. It's documented. Have you dropped 40s and 60s and 72 on that was in the league? No. I did. Barely playing. That means I'm God. You didn't get it. A lot of the that was in the league, they used to run with me back in the day. You feel me? I'm God. So we on different levels. If you ain't did none of that, you can't even measure to me. I'm Hemothy. You haven't done it. Other people could have done it, but you haven't. And no one did it like me barely playing with randoms. That means I'm God. You saying you beat Nate Robinson in 2K20. 
Nate Robinson is horrible. I said league players, not NBA players. You, I'm talking about NBA 2K league players, video gamers. You think think I'm talking about NBA players? You're a f get the f my stream. Get the f my stream. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Ain't no questions. You don't see what they're saying. Nobody's reminiscing. I've never been mad in my life, Vincent. Bro, Ira, you, you got to leave my stream, bro. There, there's just no way, bro. Going away from that and going to different routes rather than playing your game. And a great example of that is Call of Duty. Back in 2014 to 2016, this is when Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, and Boost 3 had dropped. And in those games, it implemented the exosuits. Basically. Boost, jump, double jump, wall run. And the thing with that is a lot of people didn't like that and they got backlash for it and wanted everyone to remove it. Because mm -hmm. the reason why gameplay 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 and the maps matter a lot more in cod because those are rush points those are like vantage points with 2k it's not like i've never been mad i'm not mad it's crazy how a lot of people in the league from back then exactly fizz and they don't understand that back then they're way better than they were now because they enjoyed the game you can't play like you do in 2k i know i can't i'm the greatest what the fuck? What are you talking about? But I bet I do in real life. If you don't believe it, DM me. We can link IRL. We can play for bread. I will dunk on you. Size 15 shoe, boy. Stop talking like that. The fuck play like they're my player. Nigga. God. Why we play Call of Duty is to have our boots to the ground and to have that sort of gameplay. So when they moved away from that, a lot of people didn't want to play the game and didn't buy it as much because that's not what made Call of Duty Call of Duty. Now, to bring it back to 2K, the park isn't giving a realistic vibe. And if you notice in 21, once they added the city, coincidentally, that's when a lot more people. I don't know, Vincent. It's probably because he gets beat on in the game. So when he uh, sees someone that's good at the game, he says, you can't do that in real life. It's just like when you were a kid, like when you used to beat your friends, like there was a whole meme, like, but you can't play me outside, but you can't, you know, you can't do it in real life. Da -da -da -da. You know, it's, it, it's the language of I suck at video games. You won't do baller. Shut up. It's the language of have no thumbs in. and also content creators started moving away from the park in a stage and started playing more pro-am and rec over time because people are looking for the realistic vibe of basketball subconsciously even if you're not thinking of that nobody really wants to play the park in a stage anymore because it's somewhat boring because no one wants to play the park in the stage because the game plays the game is overpriced right so all kids are gone right so what's left what's left in the community right creators are going to the wreck and all this other stuff because that's where the viewers are no one's excited to play parking because the gameplay is horrible the environment's horrible they the gameplay that was park oriented that park players like all park players have moved they don't this game the net are left are the that were more the wreck and pro-am right if you want to get on this whole casually you're not going to go to the park right because it's hard to find people you can't find it's gonna go play random wreck but this is it's all gameplay oriented it's, it's not it's not because of what what he's saying no we're mortal enemies alex like the gameplay so easy and watered down that it's just there's no more comp in the park at all it's mine them i have to go to the wreck and play with randoms just to stimulate myself bro you feel me? Just to get on and just play and, you know, just it's all because the gameplay, bro. It's it's not no it's not the environment. The whole park community just didn't abandon it just because the environment, bro. It has to do with the gameplay. You play park, to be honest, you can't be having fun. And that's all because of the gameplay. I've always liked fives more than threes and twos. I've always been like that, but I'm a rare person. But like the game so priced, the net enjoy park and that type of gameplay They've already moved on and left the game because they changed the gameplay, dog. Right? And they don't even have money to afford to play the game, you know? And they changing the mm -hmm. gameplay. A hundred a bill, it was a hundred and fifty a bill, right? They moved them up the community by making bills more expensive and then changing the gameplay to where they didn't like it. There's not really much innovation being made, and the innovations that are being made are like away from a realistic route. We, I can't relate to half of the stuff that I see in the park. That even goes into another conversation as to why the rep rewards. Did, did y'all just see this? Like, they'll say 15 is more arcade, but look, look what this is doing. Look, look, look right here. 
This, this is supposedly more realistic than 15, bro. Be from a realistic Just look at route. this. We, I can't relate to half of the stuff. Look at I this. See. Like, what what, what are we... Look, 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 look at that this. Look at this. Into another conversation. And then he... You could dunk meter in 15. Like, just think about that, show. As to why the rep rewards we hate them because you got things like a mech suit, but we're already in, a, in an environment that feels unrealistic. This so seems that arcade. Suit isn't gonna stand out, and it just feels only like a microtransaction. People don't understand. Arcade means casual, no skill gap. When you go to the arcade, do, do any of those games take skill? Oh, they're casual, easy to play, just like 2K24. There, are, there's no linked combos. There's no. It's not like a combo a crazy timing type of thing it's just a ah everything's just broken and op that sounds like 2k24 right right the mother games they, there's a skill gap to them that's not a arcade game skill gap don't mean arcade arcade means no skill gap right so that that means these newer 2Ks are arcade. That's a reason why people got the mascot, the jetpack, and the tiger, things like that. In the older games, people liked it more because it was in a realistic environment, so it stood out. And you had to really grind the game in order to get that sort of unrealistic thing. Now in this game, if you yeah. put a mech suit or a tiger, it's not going to make that big of a deal because we already feel like the game is too unrealistic in terms of the vibe and the environment. It doesn't feel like basketball anymore. Uh, I could feel that too, and it's also the fact that everyone could get all the rewards there's no exclusivity to the rewards rewards have to have exclusivity on every level and they can't be the same ones we've had for nine damn years bro you feel me there got to be exclusivity for the bottom but that but that but that and they have to be actual good rewards if you could just go and buy them later on in another season they people just don't care and they feel like they have less of a reason to play bro it's kind of like if you went on Call of Duty and they drop a ray gun for like the actual game. Like it's not a special event. Like you could just get the ray gun and use it as a regular gun. People would tell people to take that out. That doesn't make any sense. So for me, in my honest opinion, I don't know if 2K needs to like rebrand the city to like NBA Street or like NBA. That ray gun though, that's a gameplay thing, bro. You're really talking about gameplay. I don't, I don't think he know it's really gameplay. His era, his era probably started later on. What era do y'all think he awoke? I think his, I think that, I think his era was probably 18 or 19 when he like awoke. Your era for awakening isn't when you first, it's not the first 2K you touch. It's the first 2K where you finally like understand the game and you start to get cold. I think his era was definitely 18 after maybe 19 maybe 20 i think his era started you know so he he doesn't but this is majority thoughts because those are only left around bro did did what he this the stuff he's saying it's like um Damn, what's the it's word? a very popular but yeah y'all are saying 2k 24 2k 20 23 2k 19 21 see he it's late stuff but see, it's not his fault that these are his thoughts. He he just doesn't know. You see, someone like me that was already awoke before Park 2Ks even started, it's completely different. It's Since he knows how to play now, someone like him, if he got the 2Ks on PC and just dribbled around and played his friends 1v1, he would be like, wow, this is way better. There's a lot of who are um who did that that are younger right and they're like wow we love these 2Ks and them niggas like five years old when them came out right but they went and played them they was like wow you know and they wasn't even old enough to play it while it was out isn't that crazy outside or something they gotta brand it in a way to make people want to play it and that it gives off the realistic vibe i remember back in 15 just the fact that you could dribble around with your basketball it gave like an nba bowlers an nba phenom sort of vibe where you could walk around pull up and play pickup now we're on hoverboards trying to get everywhere the courts are so far from each other i have to go to two three different stores just to buy each different pair of clothing it, it's just like it's so much tedious stuff that we have to do and the game doesn't even feel that real anyways it's like mm -hmm. you might as well just not play it and that's a big reason why a lot of people that's just is way too tedious that's just annoying bro it fucked the game bro nobody once what what 2k don't understand and they're they don't have to understand these things because they they're the oh. only company
is you can't take advantage of someone financially bad servers and then make the game hella tedious like this it's a recipe to make the community just hate you you know it's just it's it's not it though. people are burnt out and don't even waste their time with this game and that's not a diss to 2k or anything i'm just saying that's how a lot of people in the community feel. w video man you made a you made a lot of good you know young naheem you know his video link link down below uh, yeah man what, what, what do y'all think about the video used to be against my teachings but now you're awoke people just don't know you don't know no better so it's not it's not even your fault bro it's not your fault man and then everyone everyone always got those words you wouldn't have been good at this 2k and that's made them hate past 2ks bro. you know that that that's the only reason these old 2ks and she wouldn't have done it in this 2k you wouldn't have did this in this 2k that's what's really started this, you know, this hate for the older 2K because some he, he he did he did a lot of good points. Some of them, you know, it's it's, it's not his fault. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down, yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.